This is a factorial design question and so an experiment is run on an operating chemical process in which the aim is to re reduce the number of imp impurities impurity produced. Three continuous variables are thought to affect impurity. These are NaOH, agitation speed and temperature. An initial investigation two variable settings were as an initial investigation two variable settings were selected. So what we have here is concentration of NaOH and we have 40% 45% so that's the whole low level and the high level. Agitation speed uh, 15 and 25 and temperature is 170 and uh, 200. So we're going to denote the low levels as minus and the, the higher level as plus. Or in some cases we might go minus 1 plus 1. It's a bit redundant in this case but there, if there are three levels with the mid level you might go minus 1, 0 and plus 1 just to make it a bit more clear. What we have here is readings were recorded so we have this is the low level setting this is we have what we have here is eight treatment groups I'm just going to sort of count them out one two three four five six seven eight okay okay now for the sake of clarity I'm going to call concentration factor A agitation factor B and uh, temperature factor C I know it might be a little bit uh, out of kilter there so first off at the low level of and we have two replicates at each of the treatment groups so overall actually the sample size is 16 okay that's the number of measurements we have all together and we have two replicates for each treatment group for want of a better word so for example at treatment group 5 the low level of concentration the low level of agitation and the high level of uh, temperature okay and we will at that treatment group we get two measurements there 110 and 100 what we're going to do here is we're going to this is quite a long calculation so I'm just going to sort of bite off the first bit calculate the contrasts the effect and the sum of the squares for the main effects what I'm going to do is I'm only going to calculate uh, the contrasts for the main effects in this case okay for this particular video because it just goes on for ages so uh, what we're going to do here is I am going to s first off sum up the impurity so I have 160 to 20 and I'm just going to add these two terms here 200 270 210 okay 230 180 and 300 okay so in this case what I'm going to do is calculate the contrast for f the main factor A. So what I'm going to do is actually just sort of go to a new page here and I'm just going to rewrite everything here. Minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1. So I'm alternating in terms of minus 1's and plus 1's. Okay, so that should be a minus here for the first case. Then in this case for the factor B uh, minus 1 minus 1. So I'm alt every second one I'm alternating okay minus one minus one plus one plus one okay and finally every fourth I'm uh, doing groups of four so I'm alternating between minus one so four there and now four plus ones okay now so that's what we've done there so far and I can bring in those measurements that I have on the other page uh, what do I have here? I have 160, 220. Tell you what, oh, I'm just going to pause this and I'll just write them, transcribe them across. So I've unpaused it and let's just look here. Now what I'm going to do is actually draw attention to this column here. Okay. So where we're at low for all, each of the three factors, we're going to have one. Okay, in brackets, and where we have high the high level for A and low level for B and C will just have A. B indicates where you have the high level for B but low levels for A and C factor A. So just be careful what I mean by that. B means high for B. AB means high for A, high for B and low for C. Okay and so on. So it actually works true like that. Okay. Um, okay so what we're going to do is first off compute the contrast okay and the contrast for the main effect A is as follows what we're going to do 
is where a is high we're going to add up all those terms so a is high here a is high here a is high here and a is high here okay and where a is low here 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 and here so essentially what we're going to do the contrast is as follows essentially what we're going to do is where a is high add up all the values and then subtract from where a is low let me get a clean page here so I have to get a clean page new so cancel that so let's just do that here so uh, the main effect for factor a 200 oops uh, it's got a pen going that's just needs a little bit of work there we go so me jagging around a bit there we go so 220 plus 270 uh, plus 230 plus 300 okay minus all the rest 160 210 or 200 minus 200 minus 210 minus what's the last one 180 okay so that is the contrast for a main effect a okay so it's essentially how do we calculate it it is where we have a high so a plus a b plus a c plus a b c minus the term where they're all low minus b c minus uh, sorry minus c minus b b minus c minus b c that is essentially what we're doing here that calculation so essentially what we have to do is just work it out make this a little bit bigger now so that is 220 plus 270 is 490 essentially just uh, calculate them up that works out as uh, 1020 and then subtract all the other ones 360 plus 390 is 750 so 370 okay that's the contrast for effect A okay so what we'll do now is the contrast for effect B and we'll leave it there because we're getting into this now so essentially the contrast for effect B is something very similar what we do here is where B is high so we would have B uh, plus AB plus BC plus ABC and subtract where b is low factor b is low minus b minus a minus c minus a c okay do the exact same sort of thing there uh, add up all the relevant terms and subtract all the other relevant terms so let's just sort of pick them out here this is the try and find a clean one here let's go through this again so where a is high, uh, b is high in this case b AB, okay, uh, BC, and ABC, and subtract where B is low, factor B. So there, low, lowercase a, lowercase c, and there we go. So what we have there, a uh, little bit about mental arithmetic. I'll just do it down here at the bottom. My page is sort of jammed up. I'll do it here. So that is, I'll just sort of transfer it over here and have a look at it. So I've just done that there again, picked out the, the same numbers. So 200, 200 plus 270 plus 180 plus 300. Everywhere B was, factor B was high and then everywhere, subtract everywhere factor B was low. Bit of working it out, we would get 50, okay? So that's the contrast for main effect B. Uh, for factor B. So uh, you could do C in a very similar way but I think you probably much get the idea now that uh, the C is essentially where er, er, rearrange uh, the similar uh, this equation up here just where pick out where C was high and so on. 
So that's contrast, uh, com computing contrast for main effects factorial design. So there's a good bit of work there.